Hello, this is Mike Myers from TechZen TV, and we're here with a special breaking news episode for Security 101, and we're going to include Security Decoded this week. There has been a, a new vulnerability, as you may have heard before on the Cisco routers, it was a vulnerability where they could get in and get access to your router, and it was affecting only one or two versions of the router. However, Defense Code has done some research and determined that there are, are a lot of other routers that are using this, and this is actually from a universal plug-and-play vulnerability. And in most routers, you should not have universal plug-and-play turned on to the outside. In fact, you should never have it turned on to the internet, but some of these routers have it turned on to the internet. And it allows people to get in and do remote code execution on your router. So as the scan that they did across the entire internet, they found 80 million devices. So if you wanna know if you're vulnerable, I'm going to put a link up on the screen right here beneath me that well, you can go to, and you can check and see if your router is vulnerable or is not. And if it is, you need to look regularly every day for a code upgrade to come out from your router manufacturer. The router manufacturers are putting out code updates as fast as they can, but the vulnerability is actually a fairly serious one, and now that it's out in the public, um, it's gonna start getting exploited even more. And this is a universal plug and play, and what universal plug and play does is it allows you to find devices on your network or devices on your network that need to get to the internet, you can tell the router, here, I need to put a far, open a firewall hole to get out to the internet. For, and it gives it all the details back and forth. It's how they communicate and make it all look automatic to you. So it's very automatic. And we want, most people want uh, plug and play turned on. Uh, I actually turn it off on my routers, but it's not generally a thing that's very dangerous as long as it's only on an inside interface, which is how it's supposed to be. But apparently the Broadcom chipset that's used in a lot of these routers that has a vulnerability in their stack for universal plug and play. So if you have a router, uh, I would recommend you go to the link and you check and see if you are vulnerable or you're not. If you're not, don't worry about it, you're all done. But if you are, you wanna contact your manufacturer and keep checking for a code upgrade because this is potentially a very serious vulnerability. So that's our breaking news item. Go to that link, check your router, and see if you're vulnerable. And if you are, you need to be aware that you are, first of all, and you need to keep watching for upgrades because this allows people to get into your router and run commands from it, which can cause many more issues. That's it for breaking news. I'm Mike Myers.